Hey everybody, Carl here from Apt, and we've got our old pal Demetrius here with us to talk about computers today. He's one of our computer experts down in our Connect store. And he's going to show us a little bit more about this uh, MSI Titan GT77 computer. Demetrius, what are we what are we looking at here? Well, you're looking at a extremely powerful machine. Okay. Um, I would say. My, one of my favorite uh, qualities about it is one, you get that big 17.3 inch screen, so you got a lot of space, you don't have to necessarily plug it into an additional monitor. Also, it has uh, the new 40 series uh, 4080 graphics card. So, um, as far as ranking go, uh, it's gonna be in the top 15, and the reason that's significant is because there's 690 graphics cards that exist. So if you're getting within the top 15, it's going to be good for your rendering, graphic design, video gaming, and anything of that nature. So now, as far as far as gaming goes, because this, by, by appearance, yeah. <laughs> is a gaming computer with all the RGB all over the place. That's right. You can run great games on this at oh, full yeah. frame rates and everything. Oh, 100 percent. The screen itself has 144 hertz refresh rate. Um, I know I did talk about it in the last video before, but just in case anyone didn't see it, the whole idea of the refresh rate or the hertz means that that image is moving um, that many miles per hour per se. So in this case, 144 the screens moving, the image is moving at 144 miles an hour. So the way that equates to gaming is if I'm using a regular TV where I got 60 hertz and you're using this and you have 144, you're gonna see me before I see you, which is gonna equate to more wins. So it just, it kind of makes the picture smoother, I guess. Oh yeah, You, you don't see that like that choppiness, breaking up. Right, okay. Exactly, okay. exactly. Yeah. So gaming wise, as far as laptops go, this is going to be oh, a really great way to go. Yeah. Now, typically with gaming laptops, we find that they're on the heavier side. Battery life is not quite so good on those. Can you tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about uh, some of those specs on this one? Right. So it is going to still be a little heavy just because you got a heavy-duty graphics card in there. But because of the ion battery, you are going to get a little bit longer of a battery life than you normally would. So I would say roughly uh, 8 to 13 hours is like your safe point. Um, uh, as always, you can always keep it plugged in. It has a 99 watt charger, so it's really thick and it can handle what you're doing. So I don't think you're gonna have any issues there. You're gonna, you're gonna really enjoy using this thing. Okay, so something that is pretty portable then. Gaming laptops yeah. aren't, aren't generally known for being able to kind of carry around with you all day. Exactly. Where this one, with that yeah. extra battery, you're gonna be able to, to game a little bit longer, maybe maybe do some school work in between your gaming yeah. too. Yeah, school work's important. <laughs> Uh, now, as far as inputs go, that's another thing that people want to make sure they have enough of on their right. laptop. So yeah. what are we looking at for as far as, uh, as inputs go on this one? So uh, we do have the uh, Thunderbolts that I spoke about last time with the LGs, how they ha you're able to run 4K video on those. Uh, it does come with two. Um, so in a way, if you didn't want to just use the HDMI comes with, which is a 2.0, or 2.1, I apologize. Um, which can also run 4K. If you wanted to put two monitors, you don't even need a docking station. Plug it into one of the Thunderbolts, plug it into the uh, HDMI, and you got two uh, displays. That's great. And then you still have an extra Thunderbolt available exactly. for plugging in whatever exactly. other accessories you might want. Oh, 100%. To. Okay. Um, and then as well, it has uh, three uh, USB A's. Most people know them as USBs. If you look at it, you go, oh, well, it's a USB. So yeah, but the actual term is called USB A. And you have three of those, and they're the uh, the higher the ones, so the three point ones. So. Okay. And then, so advantages of, of, of that are they're a little bit faster than like transfer speed 100%. wise. Okay. Yeah. And um, I do apologize. It's three point twos. USB not 3 .1s. 3 .2s. 3 .2s. Okay. Yeah. So, so even, even faster. faster. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. That's what people want when they're looking at a laptop like this. Is speed so right. that's you got a fast monitor, you got a fast processor, fast graphics card, mm -hmm. fast USBs on here. So this is kind of built for speed. It sounds like oh, 100 percent. Okay, and I will say some of the other like features that it has is it has what they call the Cooling Boost Five. So we're talking about power. So you got to think um, if you're using something like you're you're editing video, um, you got homework going in the background, you got YouTube going so you can listen to music or whatever the case is. It's gonna it's gonna run hot. That's how most machines work because you know you're putting a lot of you know pressure and stuff on it. But what the cooling boost does is it drops it down five to ten percent, so it makes it actually a lot cooler. So when you're doing your work, it doesn't slow it down. Um, and it also has another feature called the Intel ABT. You know, 
not a savior act, you know. <laughs> they didn't but, name that one yeah. after our store. It just happened to work out that way. Exactly. But what that does is, is it assists as with the cooling boost and allows you to do more things without slowing down the process. Okay. So. So overall, this is something that if if you're a gamer, if you're a student, if you're you know if you're involved in video editing, yeah, this is something that's going to cover you on all those fronts. Oh, hundred percent. Are there any any disadvantages then to using something like this? What do, what would pe what would somebody have to look out for? Like if I'm just I'm not a gamer myself. Right. Is this a computer that that I would want to get? Is it is it? Well, yeah, benefit yeah. Me? I mean, yeah, hundred percent. So like even if you're not using it for gaming, like let's say for example, no, you got kids or you know you, you yourself like you play sports or anything like that um, this is would be the machine that you can actually use to be able to edit those videos now as far as storage goes that also ties into that because you're looking at two terabytes okay. and you know uh, roughly speaking I usually say one terabyte can hold about 123,000 pictures per se so you got two of those and then you got 64 gigs of RAM so your multitasking is like off the charts Wow. Um, the RAM itself is DDR5, uh, okay. we, we're, everyone's used to DDR4, um, it's anywhere from double to triple the speed of DDR4, so you got to take all that stuff we're talking about you're doing at once, you got the cooling boost, you got the, the Intel ABT, and you got the RAM being able to help you out with that as well. And is that RAM expandable on yes. this one? Yes, okay. it's expandable to 128. Now. Nobody needs 128. <laughs> all right? I always feel like 128 is kind of like, you know, me buying a Bugatti. I'm just buying it just because, you know, I want to say I got it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, 100% um, right. is definitely expandable. And even the brain itself, it has a i9 13th gen. I know we spoke about the 12th generation. The 12th generation typically is where we are, but the 13th gen came out and it is a bit faster. So if you do need that extra push, that brain will get you where you need as well. Perfect. Is there any anything else? Any any other special features you want to share about this? I saw you brought some accessories yeah. with you. What uh, what do we got over so here? So it actually comes with three accessories. I think it's pretty cool. Um, so one, it comes with a USB. Uh, there's nothing on it. Uh, my first initial thought was when we got this, maybe you use it to update the drivers or anything like that. But it's actually just a USB for storage. What makes it cool is it got this nice little click sound that I like. And. My buddy here, it's like heavy that. duty. I that's yeah. I think if I bought the computer, <laughs> I, this is all I would use it for is flipping this back and forth because that's right it's it's even more satisfying than you can imagine at home just listening to it it actually is nice and it's metal so it's heavy yeah, it's and it's heavy got duty. usb c on one side usb a on the other that's right so that's handy to have all right and then we also got this little thing here which is actually my favorite I, i'm not gonna lie i love little knickknacks and stuff um it's the msi dragon uh it's based off of their logo um it comes with it as well you can pop it on your keychain and you know, it's another another thing you can uh, you know tell your friends about. You know? <laughs> and then what do we got? Uh, what do we got left over there? All right, and then the last thing we got here is uh, a gaming um, uh, mouse. Um, so what makes gaming mouses a little different from your average mouse is that um, the sensitivity at the bottom is a little different, so it's easier to slide across the uh, surface. Also, um, the clicks are a lot more responsive. And if, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but if you can hear this click it's as satisfying as the mechanical keyboard here. Um, I would say my favorite aspect about this guy is uh, once you uh, pop it in, you can uh, make it fit, you know. There we go. RGB starts. So now you got all the colors matching what's going on with the uh, keyboard itself. And the RGB fully customizable. You oh, can 100%. change the keys. You can change the colors on the mouse too. Yeah. So yeah. that's nice because it, you don't. You're not limited then to just using the trackpad. You get the mouse in the box as well because right. gaming using a trackpad, from my limited experience, <laughs> is not very fun. I'm bad enough as it is, and then trying to use the trackpad to game with. Right. I, it makes it's a me, headache. Yeah. yeah. I, my 16 year old son <laughs> kicks my butt at video games. And, Maybe that's because I'm using the trackpad and not a mouse. Uh, it could be that, 100%. <laughs> a lot less accurate, though. So. <laughs> so overall, this, this this is a great looking computer. It's got a nice profile. As far as gaming computers go, from from my experience, it's it's, it's fairly compact, all things considered, with all the power and, and speed that you get with this one. Right. You get some cool accessories with it. Demetrius, this is a, a Seems to be a great product. Thanks so much for coming up here with us today and uh, and showing everybody about the new MSI Titan GT77. Oh, of course, man. My pleasure. We appreciate having yeah. you. Guys, stay tuned because we'll have more videos coming up. All right.